<laughs> okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. So this is Marissa, first of all. If you don't know, this is Marissa, my best friend. <clears throat> and today we are doing something a little different on our channel. So we have like, every now and then we have like these deep talks, conversations, and I had like something going on in my mind. I was like, you know what, let's just talk it out and just do a video about it, so. Yeah, the more, like when you have real conversations and you let other people in on it, it helps both parties. So if this video helps you guys, make sure you give it a like and you know, comment and let us know. And yeah. subscribe, subscribe too. Oh, and her channel will be in the description below. So, so the other day, a girl got a text from my ex. Like, and he, and he just takes me out of nowhere. Like, it's just cool. Like, hey, I'm, I'm in town. I'm here if you wanna, whatever. Started this new job. He worked there, whatever. Mm -hmm. He was trying to talk to me, but I was talking to somebody else. So I was like, you know, I'm not about to be talking to two different people at the same time. I'm like, no. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> she, for whatever reason, her and the guy she was kind of talking to before, they kind of, yeah, they kind of fell off. So she was able to entertain the one that she worked with. Right. So as I, when I was talking to him, her boyfriend knew him personally from school and a friend of ours knew him from school too uh -huh. so red flag number one actually they was telling me that you know you probably don't want to be messing around with this dude because yeah. he don't seem like he all that right but me being me and being hard-headed or whatever I, w I was like you know let me just let me just see to test the waters mm -hmm. and Oh, I remember one time I posted this dude on my Snapchat and he was like, he was like, um, he was like, you should take that picture down because I don't want people in our business. First of all, Mona does not have like OD people on her snap. Right. I have like friends. Oh, and I have family. like 200 followers, bro. <laughs> and when, yeah, and when it comes to Instagram, because 200 followers on Snapchat is a good amount, but 200 followers on Instagram that you don't really uh, have a connection with, no. I can see if it's 200 people that you, that you know, at least 150 comment and like. Right. No, it's like 200 people, two people like. <laughs> right. Like, so, when we really start talking. Okay, so throughout the relationship, <laughs> like, I would just be hurting, like. That's the worst part. When you see your friends hurting because of a guy. Right, like just hurting, like. But me, I was, I'm so, blindly in love or whatever so I, i'm just like you know i want to be with this dude so i'm gonna try my best to mm -hmm. stay with him or whatever so he tells me later on in the ship he tells me you know i'm trying to go to school and it's like halfway across the country mm -hmm. i'm like okay cool just let me know what you want to do that's another red flag when people start selling you dreams he tells me Oh, you know, I'm gonna go to this school, or whatever. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like, that's fine. Like, if somebody in your relationship wants to move on to something, if it's meant to be, you guys will come back together. That's how I feel. Right. And I was saying to him, like, okay, like, whatever. Like, I'm gonna support you either way. Like, we yeah. can just, we can figure it out. He tells me, oh, so yeah, I'm moving there and I'm not coming back. So I'm like, Okay, what's that supposed to mean? Are you gonna ship me out there? And then he's like, <laughs> right. And then he's like, you know, but pretty much he was breaking up with me, like, oh, you know, but you know, things between us was all good or whatever. And but he, basically, in a couple of sentences, he said like he needs to keep himself available so that basically he doesn't cheat. Yo, no, no, no. He said, but he said it in a rude <clears throat> way. I tried to help him. I, I he said, why. he said, I don't want to cheat on you. <laughs> I'm like, if uh -oh. you don't want to cheat, if you don't want to cheat on me, then don't cheat. He just break this news to me, and I'm so he he take me home, and I'm just I just leave, like I don't I don't want to talk. Like another red flag is that like he every time he would dro drop her off at his at her house, he would just like drop her off and keep dropping. Right, like, like you gotta wait till I get in the house. That doesn't mean that they're a bad person. They just might not have learned that. 
on their journey so just let them know like i would prefer if you wait in your vehicle just a few seconds to make sure i open my door before you know before you drive off that's all i gotta say because even even uber drivers be waiting for you so if, right. it's, if it's your boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> yo oh after he dropped me off you know he called me or whatever and he was like oh you know i felt like you just used me to get a ride home and i'm like like you first of all you've been playing with my emotions this whole entire time you have not been keeping it real with me you've been lying and then you're just gonna break up with me you and i'm not supposed to be i'm supposed to be oh no, i understand i get it you go off and not cheat on me it doesn't make sense so and then for him to say you're just using me for rides but she actually paid for gas and she did you pay for repairs? No. No. But she actually paid for gas, so. Not to mention, he was in debt and I helped him out. With That's what it was. Like. He was in debt. Like, you're only what? Like, 19? He was only 18. Eight, eight, he was only 18. He was. Because yeah. he was the same age. Because I was, I was 19. <laughs> She's a little bit older, but. Not really. Like, we're. I mean, just a couple months. Like, but. Yeah, so. Oh my god. But y'all, like, I was so hurt. I'm like, like, dang, like, you're not even gonna try. And I so I was saying to him, like, you know, why can't you just try to make it work? And then he gonna try to flip, like, oh, why can't you try, like, to just stay friends? Like, I'm, I'm like, I don't want to be friends with you. Like, you don't understand. Like, I don't want to be friends with you. Like, if you if you planning on building your life with somebody. Can you really like just see y'all just being friends? Cause I'm not, I'm never gonna look at you that way ever again. Exactly. Like dudes don't get that being in a relationship is not being in a friendship with benefits. They don't call it a relationship for a reason. <laughs> they call right. it, they made a whole name for it for a reason because it's not the same as a relationship. Being in, being in a friendship, being in a friendship with benefits. What else like? Be, being in other little arrangements they have names for all of those things for a reason because it's not the exact same as being in a platonic relationship between two people yes let, no let me tell you about before that so after we had broke up he's like oh you know what i miss you i really want to be with you and me being dumb i'm like oh, okay so we was together for like not even that whole like it wasn't even like a whole week but he broke up with me again i'm like a person that like can't make up their mind that means they have made up their mind right like, <laughs> they either they made their mind up to be confused and you can't deal with a confused person like sometimes me and mona were confused about what food we want right. but we we end up eating that's the thing if you're all eating. exactly if you're confused about being in or out of a relationship right. you you end up being one or the other you end up being one or the other don't let somebody hold you on string like a yo-yo like oh i'm with you i'm not i'm with you i'm not no you know how much time and money i wasted on this nigga <laughs> like i just want my money and my time back forget everything else give me my money pay me what you owe me exactly and that's why, like, I came to the realization that a lot of women lately, we've been paying for dudes. We've been paying. It used to be other way around. It used to be dudes, you know, they used to pay for us, pay for our drinks, which most still do that. Uh, pay for, you know, like, clothes, hair, all this other yes. stuff. Pay for us to stay at home, to raise the kids. They used to pay for, pay for. Pay, they used to pay for a lot of stuff. They used to go all out of their way to try to impress us. They used to pay for dates, pay for cabs, pay for anything that we wanted. And now, since this little equality thing is going on, it actually has messed up the balance. So now women have been paying for dudes. For dudes. I know, I know, because I've had like I've done it. I, I haven't had to do it. Let me correct that. Correct. You do yourself. not have to pay for guys. If a guy 
is asking you to pay for this, pay for that, pay for this, and he's like not working or he's doing whatever, let him go because you're gonna feel some type of way once you pay for all of his stuff. And, um, and that's not like girls need to understand that's not using a man. Like, every once in a while, when you're in a relationship, you know, one person might pay for everything, the other person might pay for everything, or you can just or do you half guys. And half. Or you guys go half and half. But a lot of guys, they need to start being gentlemen again. And yes, that means use your money on the woman that you like. We use our money on the men that we like. We beat our face. We don't have to wear makeup. <laughs> if, and, if, and this is how I know it's true. Because when a woman walks past some guys and she's not smiling, her clothes are frumpy, her face look crazy, her hair look crazy... They ask you to smile. They ask right. you. They ask you to fix yourself right. up. They ask, like, and that doesn't matter if you're in school, work, anything. They say little stuff. Sometimes they say it outright, and sometimes they say little hints to let you know that you need to fix yourself up. So if a woman looks great, has a beautiful face. Beautiful hair, beautiful body, beautiful body, beautiful clothes. Even if her body isn't super snatched, if she's working on it, or if she's working to fix her appearance, that costs money. Okay, girls, they're out here getting plastic surgery. They're out here buying makeup. Even if you buy makeup from the dollar store, in order to get a full face, you still gotta at least spend like five to twenty to forty dollars just to get a full face. Maybe not a dollar, maybe not forty dollars at the dollar store, right. but but I've seen people pay twenty dollars at the dollar store to get a full face. Okay, that's twenty dollars. You gotta at least pay one dollar to get a shirt. You gotta at least pay five dollars to get pants. You gotta at least pay five dollars to get shoes. Come on, it's starting to add up. Right. If you want your hair done, the headband is what like two dollars. The hair you, products. Hair. Don't start on the hair products. No. I mean, some girls, they might be able to use water or oil. Oil costs a couple bucks. Water, that ain't, ain't, ain't nothing in life free these days. So, <laughs> come on, like, if a man is not willing to spend, you need to spend your time elsewhere because another man is. Mm. And I've had to learn that. Mm. Make, make sure if you're, that's the whole half and half thing. Because it's not like you have to do everything half and half. You have to do tick for tat. You don't have to do that. Right. Even though on the table, um, somebody might have only put $2 in versus $5. If they, if that person with $2 were able to do like something to help match their value right. with time and um, effort, then it's even out. Speaking of time and effort, I have put too much time and effort in that relationship. Mm -hmm. So like it was really like exhausting trying to always just fight for the relationship. And I feel like if it gets like that, that's when you need to just just let go. Yeah. Cause like if you're fighting for something and the other person is not, like you feel even worse. You're like like, I am too young to be distressed over a nigga who don't <laughs> want to treat me right. And usually when people are treating you right, there is no stress. You're not, like, right. you're not super stressed. Right. I don't regret anything that happened because I, cause now I know. I'm, like, I know how not to be treated in a relationship. I know. I just, I know. You know? Yep. Yeah. So... If you guys want a part two, let us know. We're probably going to record one tomorrow. Maybe. 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 <laughs> because we had a little bit of a fail today. So we didn't get yeah. to, we didn't get to fully like tell you guys yeah. how we feel about relationships. Yeah. We're going to close it here because I feel like we close on a good note. Right. So this is what, part one? So this is part one. If you guys want a part two, thumbs up, comment. Let us know how you feel about this video with something different. Yep, and subscribe to her channel. And subscribe to her channel. I don't really post as much as I used to, but <laughs> we need to get her to pose. Oh my god, I don't know. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, hey, there's no, I don't know. Like, we gonna get you to post something. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, so. you guys.